limited time offer written by David W. Daniels. Ooh, a sale. Stop the car. They might have something I want. Melanie, my wallet hasn't healed since your last I want. You must admit, honey, I'm saving you money. Baby, if you save me any more money, I'll go broke. I love that woman, but she can't resist the sale. Mm-hmm. The grandkids will love this. She falls for all the signs. They jack up the price, then put on a half-off sticker. They're all crooks. Uh, uh, no offense. None taken. But the worst of all is limited time offer. They say that so you don't go find a better price. I know of one offer that's better than the others. Oh yeah? What offer is that? One day Jesus will come back and judge the world in righteousness, and he offers you a limited time to get ready. Now listen, uh, what's your name? Call me Joe. Listen, Joe, we were having a nice conversation here, and you bring up religion? You sound just like Melanie's preacher. So tell me, why would a God of love burn someone for all eternity? How do you explain that? The fire wasn't made for you. What? God had better plans for you from the beginning. Think of Adam and Eve. They were created the perfect couple in a garden created by God. Adam just had to take care of it. They could eat from almost any tree, but there was one catch. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Later, Adam told Eve God's words. But the devil used a subtle, sly serpent to suggest that God was holding out on them. Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Eve, then Adam with her, ate, and it cost them big time. They had broken the only commandment God had given to Adam. Now it was time to pay. They deserved to die, but the Lord did something amazing. The Lord killed two innocent animals and made coats of skins and clothed them. So there were two deaths in that day. The Lord killed those animals instead of them. Sin entered the world. They lost paradise and everything went down from there. You're telling me. But God had a plan. The Lord said, Your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Something had to be done about all that sin. No animal could do it. And no man could pay for even his own sins, much less anyone else's. It needed to be a sinless sacrifice. So Jesus came to earth and lived a perfect life. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. There was no sin in him. He died on a cross as if cursed by God. But Jesus took our curse upon himself and paid the price for all our sin. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It is finished. It was the ultimate act of love. What more could Jesus do? But you say, religion's for old people. I've still got wild oats to sow. Those are my what Look at all the money I'm saving. You can't avoid God forever, Phil. One day the offer will end. Every eye shall see him, and it'll be too late. Do you know what will happen next? Don't tell me. They'll weigh all my good deeds and bad deeds. And if my dad bad deeds weigh more, I'll go to hell, right? Wrong, and you know it. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20:15. No one will escape God's judgment, but Jesus tasted death for everyone so you don't have to be punished. Just receive his love gift by faith to get your name written in the book of life. Faith? Who do I trust? You? No, Jesus Christ. Trust that he died to pay for your sin and accept his free gift of eternal life. What's the catch? You must admit to God that you are a sinner who needs forgiveness and that you can't make it to heaven on your own terms. Wait, that's too easy. Phil, anyone can be forgiven if they admit their sinfulness and trust Jesus to save them. The fire was for the devil and his angels. You'll only go there if you refuse his gift. I'm ready. 
I've got to go. Nice uh, talking with you. Remember, this is a limited time offer. You never know when your time is up. I don't care what he says. I've got plenty of time to look out. Zoom, smash. That could have been me. I would have died a sinner without Jesus. I'll take your gift, Lord Jesus. I believe you. Please forgive me. Honey, I'll be right back. I've got to go tell Joe thank you. Who? I'm sorry, sir. It's just us. There is no Joe here. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Do you admit you're a sinner? Do you believe Jesus died on the cross for you? Did you ask him to save you and come into your heart? If you did, remember this date. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.